ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you about this big fat friend of mine. He's a truck driver for Bar Non. Big fat ass fuck. 300 pounds. This guy's so fat, he's got to get out of bed to roll over. Well, he's married to this woman. She's about five foot tall. She weighs 100 pounds. He weighs 300 pounds. So one day we're sitting in this bar getting all liquored up. And I asked him, I says, how in the hell do you two people fuck? He says, well, it's not easy, John. He says, what I do is I sit my fat ass down in a chair. I have her sit right down on the old pecker. And then I just bob her up and down. I said, well, hell, that must not be too good. He said, well, it's sort of like jacking off, only I got somebody to talk to. <laughs> Let me tell you people about this story about these two gay guys. These two gay guys are living together. They're a little creepy, but you know. And one of them says, hey, I got an idea. We need something to do. Let's play some hide and seek. And if you find me, I'll blow you. Second gay guy says, well, what if I can't find you? First guy says, I'll be behind the piano. <laughs> Oh, folks, I got to tell you about a lady friend of mine. She's married to a good buddy. And they've been married about 25 years. And let's face it, after 25 years, that love life sort of, it sort of loses its luster a little bit. Well, she told me, she says, he just doesn't get turned on by me no more. She says, I wear this nightgown to bed. It's got a real low front. My titties would be sticking out in a real high back. He used to go crazy when he saw it. I says, well, I got an idea. Why don't you change this thing around a little bit? Tonight, put your nightgown on backwards. Tonight, it'll have a low back and a high front. Maybe that'll catch his eye. So she follows my instructions. She puts it on that way and she walks out of the bathroom and he's laying there in bed and she sits there prosing for him. She says, honey, do you notice anything different? He says, yeah, the skid marks are in front tonight. <laughs> oh, look at this pretty blonde lady in the front row. So now I've got to tell a blonde joke. You ready for a blonde joke? Oh, there was these two blondes sitting on opposite sides of the lake. And one of the blondes waves to the other blonde. She says, why don't you come on over to the other side? And the other blonde goes, I'm on the other side. Oh, there was five gay guys sitting in a hot tub. Oh, they was drinking and cajoling and laughing and giggling and just having a hell of a time. And all of a sudden, in the middle of the hot tub, a big old blob of cum come floating up to the top. And one of them says, hey, who farted? So I'm sitting at this bar one night, and this lady comes in, she's drunk as shit. She walks up to the bartender and says, give me a double shot of Cuervo. Well, she sucks it down, then she sucks down another one, she sucks down another one. She must have had ten shots of Cuervo. Before she left that bar, every guy in the place fucked her. She sucked them, she went crazy. Next night, she comes back into the bar. She's drunk as shit again, orders another double shot of Cuervo. Has about three or four. Before she leaves, she ends up fucking five or six more guys. She comes back the third night, drunk as shit. The bartender says, you want Cuervo? She said, hell no. 
That shit makes my pussy sore. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you about my next door neighbor, and she's a nymphomaniac. Oh, I always hear her getting it on. Poor boyfriend left town for a couple of months. He was a trucker, he was out of town, he was going all over the country. So she needed a little satisfaction. So she goes down to this dildo store. She walks in, she looks at the guy behind the counter and says, where are all your dildos? The clerk behind the counter says, they're on the wall over there. She looked over there and says, oh, give me that big red one. She says, listen lady, that's the fire extinguisher. Oh, another limerick. There once was a trucker named Tony whose dick looked like a boiled bologna. It was long, big, and fat. It smelled like a rat. And he called it his bologna pony. Oh, there once was a trucker named Mill who loved to give the lizards a thrill. He'd give them a corkin', a hell of a porkin', and let them all pay their own VD bill. Nice work in the hospital. Emergency room, complaint department. What part of that joke didn't you people get? Emergency room, complaint department. One time this lady came in pissed off looking for her doctor. She found her doctor. Oh, she backed him out of the corner and said, you son of a bitch. These hormone pills you've been giving me, Buster, just a little bit too strong. I got hair growing all over my titties. Doctor said, how far down does the hair grow? She said, all the way down to my dick, and that's another thing I want to do. <laughs> But this gay guy came in, had a 12 inch vibrator stuck in his butt, so I don't know how it got there. <laughs> Doctor took x rays and well, maybe the gerbil dragged it in. <laughs> It'll cost you a thousand dollars to have that removed. He said, a thousand dollars, just replace the battery. <laughs> When this guy came in for an examination, after the examination, the doctor said, I got bad news for you, partner. You got herpes, syphilis, gonorrhea, AIDS, clap, crabs, body lice, scabies, and chlamydia. We're gonna put you, sir, on a very special diet. Pizzas, pancakes, and flounder. He said, will that cure me? He says, no, that's all we can get under the door. <laughs> See, they're real flat. <laughs> One time this lady was up in the stirrups. Doctor walks in, she's like, I got 10 kids. He's like, I can tell. He got the biggest cooter I ever saw in my life. <laughs> well, she was taken back by this rude statement as you can well might imagine. She went home after the examination, stripped off all of her clothes, took the mirror off the wall, put the mirror on the floor, straddled that mirror to get a good look, see in her cooter for herself. Her husband comes marching in nonchalantly, says, honey, what the hell are you doing? She says, I'm exercising. He says, well, be careful if you don't fall in that fucking hole. <laughs> Oh, you'll be telling that tomorrow, not giving me credit. <laughs> I used to be a school teacher. <laughs> I'd like to leave your kid with me for six hours a day. <laughs> I 
and a bunch of fourth graders. They're a pretty good class. I told them one day, give them a star for the day. If any kid in this class says name and phonetic syllables, right away I was the toughest name in the class. His name's Archibald Barrisaw. Archibald, can you say your name in phonetic syllables for star? He looked at me and said, hell no. <laughs> I need an example. I said, fair enough. Looked around the room and said, Mary Smith. Mary Smith stood straight up because she's an A student. She said, my name is Mary Smith. You got your M-A, you got your May, you got your R-Y, you got your Re, you got your Mary, you got your S-M-I-T-H, you got your Smith. You got your Ree Smith, you got your May Smith, you got your Mary Smith. I said, very, very good. <laughs> I said, Archibald, hell no. I need an example. I said, fair enough. I looked around the room and said, Johnny Jones. Johnny Jones was straight up because he's an A student. He said, my name is Johnny Jones. You got your J-O-H-N, you got your John. You got your N-Y, you got your knee. You got your John E. You got your J-O-N-E-S, you got your Jones. You got your knee Jones, you got your John Jones, you got your John E. Jones. I said, very, very good. <laughs> I said, Archibald, did you ask for it, fucker? <laughs> he said, my name's Archibald Barrisall. You got your A-R-C-H, you got your Arch. You got your I, you got your Arch I. You got your B-A-L-D, you got your ball. You got your eyeballs, you got your Arch balls. You got your Arch eyeball. You got your B-A-R-E, you got your bear. You got your ball bear, you got your eyeball bear. You got your Arch eyeball bear. You got your A-S-S, you got your ass. You got your bear ass, you got your ball bear ass. <laughs> You got your eyeball bear ass. You got your arch eyeball bear ass. You got your oh well, you got your old. You got your asshole. You got your bear asshole. You got your ball bear asshole. You got your eyeball bear asshole. You got your arch eyeball bear asshole. That's very, very good.